All right. So now that uh, that I've got that done, let's uh, take a look at this again. I'm gonna actually just go back and uh, let's grab this loop again. I'm gonna just delete one more one more loop on there and exit isolation mode. And then what I'm gonna do is I've got one, two, three, four. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got twelve segments here. So I need to have twelve around it. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's add another line here. So let's go to this one here, and I'm gonna ring this. And I'm going to connect this. This is a real simple way to put one in the middle here. Now, now that I've done this, you always want to go back and, of course, edit this and move it around and, and change it accordingly. Okay. Um, but for now, I think this is okay. So what I'm going to do before I do anything here is I'm going to go in and grab this one, this one, this one, these six here. Okay. And by grabbing these six. I'm going to just hit delete on there. And then I'm going to attach. And I'm going to attach my breasts. Now, because you attached it to one, and because I was on the torso, the other one automatically has um, happens there. So let's uh, I'm going to just grab some points here. So I'm going to grab this point here, move it up. And you know, if you this is where we start kind of attaching everything together. So for this one and this one, I'm gonna just attach it together and just kind of go down the row. And you know, you can always manipulate the ones that you attach. And as you can see, some of them aren't lining up very well, so I'm going to have to go in and, and manipulate them. And let's go back over here. And let's grab this one and this one. And collapse that together and move it up. Okay, I'm going to just move this one up here. Now, as you can see, I'm running into to issues where I don't necessarily have the right amount of geometry in there. So all we're going to do is we're going to make our own. So let's, um, before we do that though, let me just grab this and I think I can move this up like so and attach these two. Uh, nope, not these two. that one and that one and as you can see it's going to cause really big issues here so what I think I'm going to just do is undo that aspect and I'm going to delete some of these here so I'm going to just delete these two and let's collapse this one and this one together then and we have an issue here we're going to fix but we'll get to it um, let's take and go into edge mode here, grab these two, and we're just going to pull these out like so. Collapse those two, move that out. And in till they touch. Move this in. So, and then basically you're going to probably move this out here. And this is just a lot of little tweaking and stuff here. Um, here's a simple one we can do. We can just cut this all the way across, like so. And we're going to cut this one all the way across. And we'll take these two, like so. This one goes up here. 
and then as you can see we've got one more issue going across this way so what we're going to do is we're going to cut actually we'll just grab this and we're going to ring it and connect it again like so and grab these two collapse that and then move this a little bit out let's move these back a little bit more and basically all I'm doing is I'm connecting I'm going to just delete this one here and I'm going to connect these two and I'm going to connect these two and that looks good and I'm going to delete this one here and grab this one and this one collapse those two together and then Let's grab, delete this one, collapse these two together, and this is where it's going to get kind of difficult, if you will, um, because what's going to happen is you're going to basically have this stuff already collapsed, and everything else is quads right now and I want to kind of keep it that way so I have to figure out how to do um, a simple basically fix if you will and I honestly think a simple fix is to let's quickly cut one down here and let's uh, cut this all in like so and like so and then what I'm going to do is continue on with this line cutting it down 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 like so and then so that leads this just triangle right here and I can simply cut this one up and over like so and let's basically take go to edge level right here and before we delete this let's have that in more like so and if you hit backspace it'll just remove it so that pretty much creates what you needed for that now of course you always want to go in and ma manipulate the geometry that you've you know, been playing with um, so that it gets you know a little bit more realism um, and this particular one I would, I'm gonna go in and pull out these a little bit more but that gives you the base idea of how to create the torso um, the only thing is what you need to do is um, one of the things that you want to do is and this is a simple thing to do I always do this is you're going to go in here and you're going to auto smooth everything and the reason I do that is so that you get a little bit better smoother geometry so we're going to just move this around and again tweak it to how you need it um, I, this is not perfect by any means. I, I could do hours and hours just tweaking this all over. Um, you know, real breasts don't actually 
pop up like this, if you will. Uh, would sag them a little bit more, and bring them down, and you know you really need to tweak them. The other thing you need to do is fin uh, manipulate this right here, um, and that's again so we have you know the aspect of the 12 you know keeping the 12 faces so what we're going to do is we're just going to go and I'm going to connect this and this here and doing 12 is really nice because now what I can do is if I look at it is I can delete or remove by using backspace and delete those now those are 4 and 4 and then I can also go in and remove these diagonals here. Now that is going to remove or flatten um, a significant amount of your breasts and just just be aware of that. Um, also when you remove an edge it does not remove uh, the the edge does not move the vertex. So you need to go in there and manipulate that. All right, so again, just go in there, round everything out, make it all nice and pretty, and so on and so forth. Okay, and so that's pretty much the torso in, in a nutshell. Um, now, the shoulders here, uh, we are going to manipulate a little bit differently um, for now and all all intensive purposes what I'm going to simply do is I'm just going to leave it this way and I'm going to do that for a simple reason so uh, when we do the arm um, we can manip manipulate the arm and put it in there and make it all nice and pretty but for a low poly mesh this is really what you want to do I mean I would you can go in here and add more geometry everywhere, anywhere you want to get the shape and form you want. But for the most part, this is the basic shape. Um, anything after anything after that is just details. You know, you can put in you know the ribs, the you know the belly button, all that stuff. You can go as high poly or as low poly as you want. Um, just watch out. Another thing too is, you know, you might want to go in here. Um, Um, you might want to go in here, and this is really getting tight in here, and it's it's not really needed that much. Um, so what we can do is, you know, some of the things that you can do is you can actually go in here um, and take this um, and basically just start adding or pulling up, you know, your shapes up here. Um, make sure that you have your, your shoulder blades and stuff like that, and, um, you know, a real simple fix. When you get it this tight, is simply go in there and just add a relax modifier on there, and that'll kind of smooth out some of that geometry for you. But again, you know that these modifiers aren't a a, uh, a the greatest thing in the world. You should learn really to go in there and do it, manipulate it by hand, and get all the the geometry in the right position. Um, you know, something like this is a simple fix of just moving it moving it up here like so you know grabbing this this edge here pulling it up I mean now this looks a lot better now um, and you always want to kind of get this stuff as, as solid square meshes um, this is this is too narrow these are too narrow you want to add more geometry in there but for our purposes it looks pretty good all right the next step is we'll work on legs